Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, and we're here at Telecom Exchange New York City, downtown New York, and I'm here with my friend, Mr. James Nesfield. He's the CTO of a company named Chirp. James, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. So, can you tell our viewers who may not already know, Chirp is data over sound technology. What does that mean? Sure. So, we uh, produce a suite of SDKs, uh, packages which go in other people's products and services. Uh, it allows devices to send data using just sound. So, using uh, a product's loudspeaker and microphone, our technology transforms data into a series of pitches, notes, into, into audio. That audio is then broadcast into a, into a space, and any listening device uh, using its microphone can hear those sounds and decode the original data. All right, so live demo time? Well, I can let you hear what it, what it, what it sounds like. Um, so this, this is just a very short little message um, that I'll send about 50 bits worth of data uh, into the into the into the air. So, yeah. so that's what data sounds like. That's what that's what that piece of data sounds like. We also do um, ultrasonic uh, data, which of course we can't hear, but it's the same concept. So does that mean basically any device, whether it's a machine or a smartphone, robot, and any type of content, video, money? or robot commands, tell me uh, where, and this sounds, this seems so endless, really. Sure, so, so we focus very, um, very exclusively on just the transport uh, issue, of getting the data from point A to point B or, or from one to many devices. And so we don't typically re place any restrictions on the format of the data or whether that data represents a, a payment ID, a user, um, a file, for example. But one, um, one restriction of our, our technology is that it's typically used for sending smaller amounts of data. So you wouldn't send an entire video, but you might send a reference to that video instead. And um, you were so kind to join us in our first CEO roundtable this morning on IoT, Internet of Things. And you had a very interesting perspective, unique to the roundtable. Can you tell our viewers uh, a couple of the discussion topics? Sure. Well, so we were, we were tackling um, ideas around around IoT. It was interesting for me personally being on that on that panel because, in terms of the other companies who are here, uh, Chirp is somewhat unique, I'd say. And so we. I've got a slightly different perspective on some of the issues w within IoT that uh, that we're focusing on as a company. Um, so it was really, really enjoyable for me to hear uh, from the other companies because it's, it's 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 not a perspective um, that we necessarily are kind of focused on. It's great to have a, such a range of opinions in the room, and that we're not just connecting um, things through um, cable. You know, but also data over sound, essentially. So this is this is one of the points I made on on, on the panel when we were talking about uh, the infrastructure required for IoT. It's really interesting when it comes to our technology that it can leverage infrastructure that's already out there. So you think of any piece of equipment which is able to produce sound or receive sound, even the the PA system in this room, you know, this microphone. Right. Uh, potentially can now send and receive data. Although it was designed for the human voice or for music, uh, all of these pieces of equipment uh, are, are able now to be leveraged for sending data also. So basically you're saying smart cities are already smart, they just don't know it. Uh, possibly, <laughs> yes. And, 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 and Chirp could be one of the enabling technologies that can be brought into that scenario. So clever. So. Chirp being so innovative, what do you see uh, for Chirp in the next few uh, months to a year ahead? So we're really excited because increasingly we're seeing, we're seeing our technology used in a very wide uh, and, and very 
disparate set of application areas. Uh, and you mentioned earlier that you know our technology can be used anywhere. And while that's that is true that it's, it's very very flexible and 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 use case agnostic, the flip side of that is that we're constantly surprised by people coming to us and saying, "Hey, could your technology be used for?" this for x y and z and and often those are possibilities which um within the chirp office we hadn't necessarily you know um considered before it's really pleasant to be surprised by new sectors coming to us and and so we're seeing that more and more and and we've got, got currently we've got partners in the toy industry gaming transportation and even the nuclear industry and and it's just fascinating to see it, one technology able to cover all of those bases. From the toy industry to the nuclear industry, using uh, sound over data. Data, yeah. Data over sound. Data over sound. Chirp.io, absolutely a website uh, you will find as fascinating as I did. Definitely check it out. Thank you, James, for joining us. Pleasure. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.